Welcome to Next Level Intel. I know that it can be very intimidating when you first open Microsoft Excel. There's all these tabs, there's this ribbon with all these different options, there's this formula bar, all these different cells you're presented with. You've got sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. What's the difference between a sheet and a workbook? Today, we're gonna focus on the layout of a spreadsheet so that we can become more comfortable working within Microsoft Excel. So here we are. I've got a blank worksheet open in Microsoft Excel. You can just ignore the tabs on the top and just ignore the ribbon and all the groupings within this ribbon for right now. Let's look at the formula bar and then let's look at the spreadsheet that I highlighted just now. So you'll see that the spreadsheet is made up of columns and rows. The columns are labeled with letters and it goes in alphabetical order. And you'll see on the screen that when it gets to Z, it just starts over and puts A in the front. A, 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 B, A, C, A, D, A, E, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the numeric values obviously just increase as you go down the spreadsheet. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so that we can take a better look. Let's go down to the bottom right hand corner and click on this plus symbol. You can also click and drag this bar. Let's go back up to the left hand side. Each one of these boxes is a cell and each cell has a name and you'll see that the name stems from the intersection between the column and the row. So for instance, this is cell B4, and you'll see up in the left-hand corner, it's cell B4. And I can actually type and change the name of this cell if I want to. Now changing the name comes in more to play when we're looking at ranges. And that's the next thing we want to look at. So besides individual cells, we have groupings of cells. If I click into cell B2, and I drag down to B3, that is B2 through B3, that is a range. Same thing with B2 through C2, B2 through C10. That is a range, so that is cell B2 through C10. If I do a quick formula here, equals B2 with a colon through C10, you'll see that that range was just selected. Now this isn't actually a formula that you're looking at here, but it helps give us a visual of how to select a range. Now, we can click on top of cells with one click, but we wanna double click to actually click into the cell. That is when we start inputting data, and that sets us up for the next video in this mini-series. So in the next video, we're gonna create a range of data, and then we're gonna create a table in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching, this is Next Level Intel. God bless.